So it might take a second to get to work. One engineer that I worked with when I was just a little kid, 17 years old, said to me, Tom, whatever you get from the overground, you have to put back, back into the underground. And sometimes you run into a film that just captures your imagination, that captures your spirit for making great music for it. I've done 300 Rise of an Empire, Mad Max, uh, Divergent, did uh, Deadpool, so a lot, a lot of really uh, big action adventure movies. And when I saw this uh, movie for the first time and I saw who Ian was, I, I think we definitely have similarities on the front that we try to broaden our vision and just try to engage in something that you, that you don't know, that is new, that is scary, but is exciting at the same time. I used to play in bands and I used to produce bands. And then I had a very successful electronic run for 20 years. I moved up in LA and I said, well, I've done that. Now I'm going to become a film composer and just worked on it uh, from scratch. It's scary to do it, but it's very rewarding when it works. This film has a story. It's not just a clip reel where it's, we went here, we did that, cue the music, show the action. So this is a great opportunity to discover electronic music in a score format so it fits what the, what the storyline is and everything that Ian is going through. So I think what we should do, we should start with the, with the synth, so it, it kind of starts like, you know, and then we build up to the end of the song where it's really like, you know, just like bright and open and everything. because we decided that we're gonna go for more electronic tones. They should feel organic. You know, it really should feel like waves of, of sea, like somebody's really doing it as a, as a, as a human being and not as a, as a trained machine without a soul. So I decided to work with uh, real synthesizers and these synthesizers all have their ups and their downs. The ups is that they sound fantastic. The downs are that they're hard to control. It's almost like a real wave out in the sea that you're trying to surf. It's not the same wave every time, it's different. Sometimes you feel you're in control, sometimes you're not. The walls that you see behind me can take up to 12 to 16 hours to get something going that actually sounds like music and until that is like, <laughs> like really weird scientific sounds. I used this box to sample sounds from my wall, and then I would play it back with an internal sequencer. And I created a lot of the rhythm synthesizer movement in the film. That's the great thing about a collaboration. Like, me as a composer, I cannot do everything on my own. It would always be my vision. I mean, you guys will feel it out, but you know what I'm saying? Like, totally. keep evolving and get more and more intense and scary, because it is. Did it go? Yeah, yeah. With adding the percussion and then adding the high synths as well, yeah. but it would be cool if the bass line itself had an evolution to it. It's, it's teamwork, so everybody chips in, and we get to a really good result. We're lucky that we get access to this kind of talent and this kind of music, and I think audiences are gonna be lucky. Like, it's gonna be a great experience to see this film.